Patients can have confidence in the PMC Lawson Cancer Center from our diagnostic capabilities to advanced genetic testing, clinical trials, and dedicated oncology pharmacy services. Our purpose is saving lives. With extreme weather and flash freezing predicted, it is very important to use precaution when operating your vehicle. We spoke to Public Information Officer Tony Tackett on how to keep you and your family safe during these hazardous conditions. It's supposed to be the coldest Christmas we've had in many years. So if my first suggestion is if you don't be on the road, don't be on the road. Uh, fortunately, some people have to go to work. And if you have to go to work, just leave, allow your vehicle to warm up. I see people drive all the time with one little spot defrosted. That's not going to work, in this, especially in this type of weather. It's not going to work any type of this type of weather. It's not going to be right. Um, let it warm up. Get it done. Leave about 10, 15 minutes early. The speed limit may say 55, but on roads like this, if you're doing 25 or 30 or more, you're going too fast. You can't stop. Uh, icy conditions, uh, wide out conditions where it's, it's going to be blowing, the snow's going to be blowing. Uh, the... Uh, wind gust up to 30, 40 miles per hour, whatever, it's going to cause issues. In addition to vehicle safety, it is important to have an emergency kit in your vehicle if you become trapped. The emergency kit should include a coat, a blanket, water, flashlight, and a fully charged phone. A lot of our towing services in this area, it may be so bad that they can't get out. So you may be stuck a while, um, but uh, you can call 911. We'll try to get to you, try to get you going. Um, Make sure that, uh, like I said before, make sure your vehicle's in working order. Uh, a lot of people get out here with bad tires, uh, barely any gas. If there's any water in the gas at all, and you've got a low tank of gas, it's going to be, your fuel pump's going to have some issues. I can tell you, you've got mechanical issues. So just use common sense. If you don't have to be on the road, don't go out. If you have to, leave a little earlier, it's car warm up good, and just take your time. Common sense, take your time, slow down, and uh, hopefully we'll get... Where we're going. If your vehicle does get stuck, it is important to remain in your vehicle as whiteout conditions are likely and visibility will be low. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.